Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're doing another real estate practice question. Today is question 173. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so today's question has to do with real estate economics. I think it's a super interesting and really important question, so make sure to stay all the way through the end so you fully understand uh, this concept. But yeah, let's take a look at the question. So the question states, while the economy is experiencing inflation, interest rates typically, so it's asking us what happens, obviously, when we're experiencing inflation uh, for interest rates. And it gives us four options. A, drop and housing prices rise. B, rise and housing prices drop. C, rise and housing prices rise. Or D, none of the above. So like always, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, read it over again, think about it, and come up with your answer. So go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer. If not, feel free to pause so you can get some extra time. So what is the correct answer for this one? Well, it's going to be C, rise and housing prices rise. So housing prices tend to rise with inflation. Uh, if you understand concept of supply and demand, you know, you should understand that. Now, while the economy is experiencing inflation, interest rates typically rise as well. So again, that's both interest rates and housing prices. There is a correlation between inflation and housing prices. In fact, there are correlations between inflation and any good with limited supply. When interest rates are low, buying homes can be more affordable and increases the demand for homes. If the supply of homes remains constant and the demand increases, then the prices of the homes will increase. So this is pretty advanced real estate economics, but it is really important to understand because there are there are like economic questions uh, or questions that feature real estate economic related topics on the exam. So you do need to be familiar with these concepts. But yeah, understand your supply and demand and that'll pretty much help you with these answers. Um, and actually, we do have a video. I, I, I mentioned it yesterday on our last one, our last question of the day, but we do have a video on real estate economics. So do check that out as well if this is something that you completely don't understand because uh, we cover it pretty in depth on that video. And that's going to be it for this question. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something today. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can pass the exam no problem. This is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. As always, make today magical. Thank you.